Yeah, so Chance 2 um, will be uh, presented soon. Um, and uh, basically, the, the, it is, we know that there are a large subgroup of patients who don't metabolize clopidogrel to its active form. So clopidogrel is a prodrug and has to be converted to um, an active form. And that poly, the, the polymorphisms associated with not being able to activate it are particularly common in Asian populations. And so CHANCE2 was looking at that group who couldn't convert you know, based on their genomic differences to clopidogrel to its active form. What happens if you randomize them to clopidogrel versus ticagrelor? So very similar patients to the ones that were studied in TALUS or CHANCE1 or POINT, they're all you know, fairly similar. You know, how, do, how, does, how does ticagrelor versus clopidogrel do in that subset of patients who don't metabolize clopidogrel um, normally? And um, that is an important trial because it's an, you know, a very important subpopulation and it's a question a lot of people have, you know, is are we, by randomizing those people who can't convert clopidogrel, are we um, uh, basically not offering them any benefit? And this will test whether what we should be offering them is ticagrelor.